Hello everyone. Today we will solve an interesting problem that mixes um, algebra and probability and some parts of integral calculus too. So what is the problem? The problem is like uh, we have like Ramdo Maldo, this is our character, choose two numbers B and C from the interval uh, from zero to alpha uniformly. Also, we have to consider here the fact that the um, numbers B and C are taken from 0 to alpha independently. And solve the equation x squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. The probability of finding real solutions is 1 divided 2. Uh, what is the value of alpha in this case? So this is a problem adapted from the 37 Brazilian Math Olympiad in the university level. So, how we can start this problem? So, we have at first the equation of the form x squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. So, we know that this uh, problem has real solutions with a probability of uh, one divided two. So, which condition can be transformed to make this equation to have real solutions. So we know from algebra that if b squared minus 4 by 1 by c is um, bigger or equal than 0, then we have real solutions. Okay, so we use this hypothesis from here. So we know this is okay. And also, so we can rewrite this like b square is bigger or equal than c that 4 multiplied by c. Okay. Now, we know that b and c are taking both of them from a uniform a uniform distribution which has values from 0 to alpha. That is really important to note that B and C are independent. Okay, so what does it mean? It means that we can create a Cartesian and we can write B and C as the labels of the axis. And also we can write for B from 0 to alpha and for C from 0 to alpha 2. Okay, so why do why can we do this? Because B and C are independent, so they can be seen as values in, in independent in orthogonal axis. And we can complete the space that they will take as a square with side alpha. Okay, so now we have to draw this inequality. So let me rewrite here properly. So b squared divided 4 is bigger or equal than c. Okay, so remember if we want to obtain the graph of one inequality, then we have to graph the quality. So we will work with the equality given by c equal to b squared divided 4. Okay, so we have two options. We know very well this is a parabola. It is well known fact. This is a parabola. And there are two options. What are the options? So here I will just uh, put in the dotted line, this is g equal to uh, x, i equal to x, and we have two options. The first option is the following. The first option is that the curve follows this path. Mm -hmm. What is the problem here? The problem here is that we know that the probability of probability, oh sorry, probability of b squared 
bigger or equal than 4c is equal to 1 divided 2. It means that we will divide the square in two parts that have equal area. It can be seen like this. But in this case, as I noted here, it's not possible that this area is equal to 1 divided 2. So this is the 50 percent of the area. So that is not a good option. So what is the other possibility? The other possibility that I will show in red, as you can see, is that the curve has this shape. Yes. So this is more possible because it can it is uh, below g equal to x, y equal to x, and also can overcome y equal to x. So it's possible that this area is equal to this area. Of course, this is mm, it doesn't seem to be possible from my figure, but we will find conditions for alpha such that it will be true. Okay, so I will remove the area shaded and I will now uh, shade the area that we require to find using purple. So we require to find this area. Yes, so how can we obtain the area? The area is just an integral as it can be seen and the red the red curve can be written as c equal to b square divided 4 so i will note this with the letter a so a is equal to integral from okay what is the area here if we see the as a vertical integral i will try to make a double integral here it's a little bit problem why because we have to know where what is this point it's not difficult to know it but it takes time but if we change our point of view and instead of supposing that the integral is a vertical domain and instead of that we put an horizontal domain then it will be more simple to obtain the answer why because the integral will go from zero to alpha yes and also it will go from zero to in this case we have to obtain uh, b in terms of c so b square is equal to 4 by c so b is equal to root square or 4 by c or the same that 2 root square of c okay so even i don't need to make a double integral i can do it with a normal integral of calculus so the most right uh, part to root square of c minus the left part remember we have this this is zero and in this case we will put by the c okay this is just a common integral can be solved easily so it's equal to 2 by 2 divided 3 by c 3 divided 2 from 0 to alpha or this is the same that 4 divided 3 by alpha 3 divided 2 okay so what the, what is the what is the next step here so we know the area is 4 by 3 multiplied by alpha at 3 divided 2. And we have to remember that for a uniform, a uniform distribution, the probability is just equal to the same than the Laplacian uh, approach. We will say just like the probability, in this case 1 divided 2, 
is equal to the probability that we found was 4 divided 3 by alpha 3 divided 2 divided by the total area of the square this is uh, alpha by alpha but why because remember it's a square and it's square with side alpha so but just the area is the multiplication of the sides so 4 divided 3 multiply by alpha 3 divided 2 divided alpha square okay so we have finally 1 divided 2 it's equal to 4 divided 3 here we make some algebra 2 so in the denominator 2 minus 3 divided 2 and now we just arrange a little bit so we have alpha at 1 divided 2 is equal to 8 divided 3 finally we just make square to both sides and we will obtain that alpha remember alpha was a positive number so it's okay is equal to 64 divided 9 and this is the value that makes us to obtain real solutions with a probability equal to 1 divided 2. So that is all for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Also, remember that uh, additional or alternative solutions are welcome. Thank you so much. Have a good day to everybody.